Here, we'll use the half reactions we balanced in the previous video, part 1, to build an equation for the overall redox reaction taking place, and we'll balance it in acid solution. In part 1, we determined these equations for the half reactions and balanced them. In this video, part 2, we'll use these to build the equation for the overall redox reaction. We see that as they are written, the top reaction gains 3 electrons, while the bottom one loses 4 electrons. However, in order for a redox equation to be balanced, the total electrons gained must be equal to the total electrons lost. What we do is determine the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4, which is equal to 12. So we make the total electrons gained and the total electrons lost both equal to 12. To make the top equation gain 12 electrons, we multiply the whole equation by 4. So we have 4 times 3 equals 12 electrons gained. And to make the lower equation lose 12 electrons, we multiply the whole equation by 3. So now we have 3 times 4, which is equal to 12 electrons lost. So multiplying by these factors, 4 and 3, the total electrons gained will be equal to the total electrons lost. What we need to do now is add these two equations to get the overall redox equation. Because we have a total of 4 times 3 equals 12 electrons on the left side, and 3 times 4 equals 12 electrons on the right side, electrons can be cancelled from both equations, like this. In order to keep everything straight, it's important to do the addition of these equations very systematically. We start by adding the substances on the top left, then those on the bottom left, followed by those on the top right, and lastly, those on the bottom right. So starting on the top left, we have 4 times 1 H3PO3 which is 4H3PO3, and 4 times 3H+, plus, which is 12H+. Plus. Now we'll move to the bottom left. We have 3 times 1U, which is equal to 3U, and we have 3 times 1H2O, which equals 3H2O. The left side is now done. Now we'll go to the top right. We have 4 times 1p, which is equal to 4p's, and 4 times 3h2o, which equals 12h2o. Finally, we go down to the bottom right. We have 3 times 1uo2 plus which is 3 uo2 plus and we have 3 times 2 h plus which is 6 h plus and the right side of the overall redox equation is done and the whole equation is balanced when you do your own equations it's good to stop at this point and check that all atoms and charges are balanced But this equation is written has H plus ions on both sides and water molecules on both sides, so it needs to be simplified. We'll simplify H plus by removing six H plus ions from both sides. Removing six H plus ions from the right side leaves us with none. And removing six H plus ion from the left leaves us with 12 minus 6 which equals 6 H plus ions. To simplify water, we can remove three water molecules from both sides. Removing three water molecules from the left side leaves us with none. 
and removing 3 water molecules from the right side leaves us with 12 minus 3 equals 9 water molecules. Now the redox equation is both balanced and simplified. If you check, you will see that there are 4 p's, 18 h's, 3 u's, and 12 o's on both sides. And each side has a total ionic charge of positive 6. We'll rewrite this equation with a larger font here. So this is the final balanced redox equation in acid solution, starting from this skeleton equation. To review, in the preceding video, part 1, we determined the equations for the two half reactions and balanced them. Then in this video, part 2, we added these equations to obtain the equation for the overall redox reaction, and we simplified it to give us the final answer. You may want to pause this, make a screen copy, and print it. The key to getting good at balancing these equations is a lot of practice.